Hey everybody, Sam Kavaris in the Nimnik Buick GMC Sports Update. Jaguars have now put together an offensive staff that has a lot of experience and a lot of different ideas, a lot of different voices. And it was interesting to hear Gus Bradley talk about how he hopes that they will mesh together, and that was one of the things that he looked at when it came to the hiring process, that whether these guys could work together. In talking with Doug Marone, it's pretty clear that he does have, as Gus said, that level of humility that will allow him to be an assistant head coach, be a sounding board for Gus, but also be a very good position coach in that offensive line spot. Greg Olson has some very specific ideas about how he wants to develop Blake Bortles. He's brought in his own running backs coach and his own quarterbacks coach, and all of these guys have an opportunity to work together. So I think it's a, it's, it's a giant step for the Jaguars that maybe is a little bit under the radar because it is a massive change on offense. It will be the third offense in four years that most of the guys will be running, but for Blake Bortles, it's just the second one in two years. The players will all come back in April. Meanwhile, Blake is still working out in California, and guys are working out on their own, although about 30 players have showed up every other day at the facility. They can't be coached, but they can use the facility to work out, and they certainly are doing that. So it'll be interesting to see what these guys are like when they get back right after uh, the draft comes up and uh, uh, they co start going through the off-season conditioning program as well. Meanwhile, the Florida Gator basketball team really has struggled. They lose to Kentucky in maybe their best game of the year, and Billy Donovan said he was disappointed, and no surprise because they didn't come away with a win. But more than that, disappointed that the team hadn't played like that all year long, even though Kentucky who is a consensus number one, and everybody seems to have already given them the national championship, uh, was a formidable opponent. Florida was able to play with them all the way up until the end when Kentucky was able to kind of control the tail end of the game. But Florida needs to play like that with that kind of urgency and that kind of consistency on a regular basis if they expect to make the tournament. Right now at 12-11, and 11, that is definitely an iffy proposition. I'm Sam Kavaris, and that's the... Buick GMC Nimnik Sports Update.